Football without touchdown celebrations can feel robotic. We want excitement, emotion, and fake arrows flying through the air. But back when football had two leagues and 14 week seasons, players were just beginning to discover the art of the touchdown celebration. Everyone loves touchdown celebrations, except for maybe Roger Goodell, but at least he's loosening up the rules. But f that guy anyway. Penalty or not, touchdown celebrations are here to stay. But who did it first? In the fifth round of the 1963 AFL draft, the Houston Oilers selected wide receiver Homer Jones. Two days later, Jones was selected in the 20th round of the NFL draft by the New York Giants. Jones chose to head to the AFL and play for his hometown Oilers. The 6'2", 220-pound track star was ready to make his mark on the NFL. That is, until a training camp knee injury put his future in doubt. He was cut from the Oilers before the season even started. Unwavered by the injury, the Giants offered Jones a bus ticket and a spot on the team. They even paid for his knee surgery. But he signed with the Oilers. Aren't they obligated to pay for a surgery? Well, no. There wasn't a players association until 1968, which meant no union, no collective bargaining agreement, and little to no benefits for players. So the Oilers simply washed their hands of the situation. The Giants, however, were more than willing to pick up the tab. Jones spent the majority of the 1964 season recovering from his knee surgery. From the sideline, he watched his teammate Frank Gifford throw the ball into the crowd after scoring touchdowns. Jones was intrigued and figured once he reached the end zone for the first time as a pro, he'd do the same. I know what you're thinking. Frank Gifford used to throw the ball into the crowd after scoring a touchdown. He's the first to celebrate a touchdown, right? Well then why the f do you think I've been talking about Homer Jones this whole time? When an outfielder catches a foul ball and tosses it to a fan in the stands, is that an out celebration? No. No, it's not. Here's a shocker for all you football fans. Pete Rozelle, the NFL commissioner at the time, didn't like players throwing balls into the stands, so he instituted a fine for doing so. God forbid a child takes home a souvenir, dick. Jones's first career start came in the second game of the 1965 season, a home game at Yankee Stadium. He was lined up against Philadelphia Eagles cornerback Irv Cross, and Jones torched him for an 89-yard touchdown. His initial reaction was to throw the ball into the stands, but at the last second, he thought about getting fined and redirected the ball straight down at his feet. The first spike, the first true touchdown celebration. In 2012, Jones said that if he would have known what touchdown celebrations would become, he wouldn't have done it. He's quoted in the New York Times saying it caused so many things, obscene things and confusing things. I wish I hadn't started it. Well. Now I feel like we're the assholes. Ready? Yep. Okay, hold. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the breath. Now you get it. <laughs> My knee. My knee. Homer. Oh. What did you do? 